Our goal during this program, Your Active Life, is to educate and provide you with some valuable orthopedic information. We'll be discussing in a series of programs the main orthopedic problems, problems with the sports medicine, the problems with joints and bones, as well as, well as in general, the treatment of, of the, uh, pain management. Dr. Marquez, what is orthopedics? Orthopedics is a subspecialty of the medicine in which we treat uh, the most common problems, mostly related to arthritis, as well as with sports medicine, as well as the treatment of the uh, pain in general. Dr. Marquez had the opportunity to meet with some people from our community that asked him very interesting questions and common bone injuries. Let's take a look. I have a question for the doctor. Yes, doctor. For the past about five years, I've been having a lot of pain in my shoulder, uh, and it seems to get worse at night, and every time I try to pick it up, it, the pain increases. What's causing that, and what do you recommend that I can do to uh, resolve that? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. This is a very common problem. First of all, the shoulder is a complex joint. And believe it or not, we use it for everything. We use it for breathing, for walking, and obviously for getting our hand in the space. Shoulder pain is very common to have this type of problem at night. Why? Because with the gravity, the shoulder goes back and it starts irritating the rotor cuff. What's a rotor cuff? Rotor cuff is a, a bunch of muscles, and when I say a bunch of muscles, it means four muscles that come together into a cuff, and that gets irritated at night. We call it in the orthopedic world as an impingement syndrome. All these big, long words mean, in, the only thing it means is that every time I raise my shoulder, it pinches between the rotor cuff and the shoulder blade. That's what we call an impingement syndrome. That's what the old doctor used to call them, a tendinitis. And that's what you're basically referring right now, mainly with pain when you raise your shoulder and the pain is localized about in the front and sometimes it radiates down to the lateral aspect of the shoulder or the outside of the shoulder. Usually it's common at night and it's also very common with overhead activities or reaching over. Most of the time, or 95% of the time, it could be treated with medication. If the symptoms persist, then we need to find out more about the type of problem because that could be due to a chronic irritation. That could be also because you use your shoulder for the level of activities that you do at work or the type of sports that you do. And then if the problem continues, then we take an MRI. An MRI is just a, a, a picture of the tendons and the bone to see if it's just an irritation or, is, or you have a tear of the rotator cuff that we just mentioned. But to answer your specific question, Shoulder pain, first of all, is very common at night. Uh, most of your symptoms, as you explained, I think they will probably will improve with medication. And if that gets a little bit more uh, complicated, then sometimes we inject it, and in very, very seldom we have to do surgery just in case uh, it doesn't get better with the, with the treatment that we just mentioned before. Another exercise to strengthen up the shoulder is called outer raises. This one specifically would require a bench for support. Your knees will be slightly bent and we're going to be isolating each muscle. Notice how sh his shoulder is parallel and he's taking it real slow. The more advanced technique will require both arms going up at the same time. John, 64, 25 years electrical engineer, father to Richard, Mary, and Sam. Knee replacement surgery, April 2004. Jean, 62. 30 years teacher. Mother to Mary and James. Knee replacement surgery, February 2003.
Don't let an injury slow you down. Call Dr. Raul Marquez today and get back to life. Question for the doctor? Yes. Yes, uh, I have uh, real bad um, back uh, pain, and there's a lot of n uh, numbness to my legs, and mainly, you know, when I'm laying down and trying to get up from where I'm sitting. Uh, can What can I do about it, or what can you do about it? <laughs> well, thanks for your question. First of all, I just want to clarify that back pain is very common. It's a very common symptom. But like in your case, it becomes a little complicated when you're having back pain and leg pain. That's what we call sciatica. And sciatica, the only thing it means, it means in medical terms, leg pain. Because the sciatic nerve, which is the biggest, the thickest nerve, usually is irritated. The key here is, and I'm just going to show you a model of the back. What we're talking about here, this is, this is the low back. And usually, like in your case, you have what you mentioned, the leg pain and numbness. And that could be mostly for two things. One, it could be a, what we call a herniated disc. And herniated disc, that means that the cushion between the vertebras, as I'm pointing here, those are the vertebras, are pushing on the nerve. And that could push on one side of the back or the other side of the back or could push right in the middle, and that's why you can have bilateral or, or leg pain on both, on, both, on both legs. The other reason is that the bone is also pinches the nerve, and that's what we call spinal stenosis. What that means, means that the canal that usually the nerves pass through, they are narrow, and that is pinching the nerve. That's why it's important to take x-rays of the back and also to do an MRI of the back to see what the structure is pinching the nerve. Hopefully that answered the question, but the thing here is how are we going to relieve this, these symptoms? Most of the time it can be relieved with conservative treatment. Conservative treatment is not surgery, meaning exercises, meaning anti-inflammatory medication, and in extreme cases, that's where surgery will be helpful. But before we indicate all those things, I think we need to find out why you have the back pain, why you have the leg pain, and that's why I'm mentioning that taking x-rays and having an MRI is essential to relieve or to find out what the problem is. Um, I hope that answered your question. Thank you once again for being with us. We sure hope that this information will help you make important decisions for you and for your family. Thanks, Joanne, and I want to thank everybody for being in this program. I just want you to remember that this is an educational program and for information only. Hopefully, this will be very helpful for you and your family, but if you have any specific questions, please call your doctor or you can call us at the office. Thank you again. We'd like to thank Affection Home Care for helping make this program possible. I'm Joanne Sanchez alongside Dr. Raul Marquez. We'll see you here next week.